Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. We're back at it again. I am joining my sweet and dear friend, Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating. I'm sure you guys probably know who she is. She is a phenomenon <laughs> here on YouTube. I love her work and I'm always excited to collab with her. So today we will be bringing you guys some spring DIYs, both kitchen and porch DIYs. But of course you could always mix it up and make it your own and display them how you want. Um, I will have Jenny's information in my description box below. So please make sure to check her out when you leave here. Tell her I sent you her way. Tell her I said hello. And thank you for collabing with me once again. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we'll go ahead and jump into the first project. So I am going to be doing more porch decor. Um, even though I don't really have a porch, <laughs> I stay in an apartment building, but um, I do have like a balcony um, that I do have like a chair and little plants and things out there. They're fake plants, by the way, out there. <laughs> but um, so I was like, you know, let me try some, you know, that type of stuff. So I picked up this drain board from Daiso and I love it. It only costs $1.75. Now you can totally create that board using Dollar Tree items or scrap wood from like Home Depots or Lowe's or something. But for $1.75, I was like, I'll take it. And so what I'm gonna be doing is just a, a floral display um, piece. And it's gonna be um, really simple. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one of these little palettes um, or hanging palettes from Dollar Tree. And I'm using various colors. So I was just playing around with some yellows, some pinks, um, some off-white, some peach colors. I wanted to blend them so they would kind of match the flowers that I'll be displaying on this board. And I really like the way this came out. It, it gave me a nice soft, you know, like sunset vibe <laughs> so i got these uh flower this flower pick from dollar general um and it's pretty full i think they're what like cabbage ro roses or something like that i'm not sure i'm not you know big on my plants and and flowers and things but nonetheless i i got them i thought they were beautiful and all i'm doing is taking some of this nautical rope and just wrapping it around to make it appear like a bridal bouquet basically and um once i get that wrapped around it was nothing special i just wrapped it around at the bottom went up and then wrapped it around and came back down and just glued it off with some hot glue now this foot fit <laughs> sorry pretty snug in between those cracks so i was super excited about that i did add some hot glue there you'll see that in a bit I'm taking this burlap bow and just adding it there because I thought, you know, it just would give that pretty spring soft vibe. And then I'm going to take these rubber on transfers that says Farm Fresh Flowers. And I think it says like something seed, something bloom, something, other little words on there. But I just really wanted it for the Farm Fresh Flowers. And it went on very nicely. Um... I'm not going to add anything outside of it because I just wanted it to be really simple. Um, and again, this is something too you can either display outside or you can bring into the home. Now with these items off camera, I did spray on some of the Mod Podge um, sealer. So just have a little bit of weather protect, you know, because the elements, they, they vary, especially here in California right now. We go from the 40s up into the 80s. <laughs> within a matter of hours so I just put that on there um, off camera you got it's just spray <laughs> and you can always use um, outdoor Mod Podge as well would work very well here and I just stapled that to the back I did keep that string on there in the event that I decide to hang this um, it would still be there so now all I'm doing is just taking some of the macrame rope which is a smaller version of the nautical rope that's how I look at it and I'm gonna wrap that around a few times and you'll see me doing that here I did not use any extra strength adhesive so afterwards I did think about it like you know what it may not last but 
if it doesn't it's an easy fix you know should it fall or whatever I can always just go back in and reinforce it actually using the heavier um, duty glue so once I wrap that, uh, wrap that around, I'm just going to take a separate piece of that macrame rope and just tie it off to give it effect of like a bow almost. Um, and then I'm just going to um, glue it off here just so that knot will stay. And I use Gorilla Hot Glue so it, I very rarely run into issues where things will fall apart and things like that. But it has happened so. But I, I'm pretty confident it'll be okay and then I'm taking um, once I get that center like I said I'm just using um, hot glue here because that sat pretty snug in the little um, uh, cracks there so I'm taking another piece of that macrame rope and I'm tying it around the bundle and I'm gonna tie it off in the back this will also help to secure it since I'm not using the heavier duty glue and um, I just thought it was a nice added touch you can't really see it unless you're looking for it but again you know I you know I was like why not and that's it for this project I added in some um, they're like some resin I think I said that right resin butterflies <laughs> and they match the decor of the flowers as well or the colors of the flowers as well so I thought it was super neat to put those on there and that also covered up the string the holes from where the jute twine um, hanger is so again my sweet friend Jenny over at lovely moments creating guys please go over and check her channel out she's back with us she had taken a little bit of time off she wasn't feeling well but she's back in full effect and I love watching her shows so just um, make sure to click her link in my um, description box below so next up we're gonna use another um, garden uh, drain um, it's called a draining um, palette and this one is a little bit smaller and the texture of it is different but on this one I'm going to use the bottom half of it and what I'm doing here I uh, I got that from Daiso as well and then I have that grass um, section it's called bunny grass I got that from um, Daiso as well both were a dollar and 75 a cent and so um, I just took it apart because the little grass um, like pallets or pick whatever they are parts <laughs> they come off just like you do with flower picks so I just outlined the outside of this I didn't want to fill it all the way up because I am going to actually be putting bunnies in there as you can see I found these bunnies also at dollar um, not dollar tree at Daiso for a dollar seventy five and I thought their hand gestures were cute so one looked like he was just kind of doing like the bunny hop which is the white one there and I'm gonna call him the male bunny and then the other one um, the gray one had their hands up as if it was in surprise they're like a uh, surprise not their hands their paws I guess <laughs> their paws up in the air and like a surprise so I thought how cute would it be to have him holding some roses now I got those roses from um I want to say Zyso a year ago I used them in a spring project from last year so I'm just repurposing them here and next I'm going in with some of this tool ribbon that I got from Zyso and I thought how cute would it be to make her a tutu with this so I just wrapped that around a couple of times and sorry I was out of shot there. I couldn't see <laughs> very well so I had to move it a little bit closer to me so I apologize but I am going to show you guys a close up. I will slow it down so you guys can see it and also just know as always everything will be shown in the final reveal. So next I'm going in and I'm going to add her a bow on her head and I added him a bow tie um, I, I don't think I mentioned that but it was just a pre-made um, mini bow tie that I added to him and I added her a bow on top and I thought she was so so cute so I also went in with some um, ceramic little um, like daisies I got from Hobby Lobby and now I'm just adding in some carrots that I got from Dollar Tree and that's literally it for this I am gonna go in um, I will show you I'm gonna go in using some daisy ribbon that I had and I'm just gonna cover the front of this because how it's gonna be displayed you won't see the sides or the back so I didn't want to waste 
any ribbon especially because I don't have a lot of this particular one and since I'm doing quite a few spring DIYs I want to try to hold on to as much as I can uh, without having to buy more but um, that's literally it for this they sit in there so very snug and they're very heavy like they they have a nice weight to them but I thought how how stinking cute are they like I just love them I did go in with some more of those ceramic um, uh, not ceramic, but uh, resin, I know I'm saying it wrong, resin uh, butterflies, and you'll see that in the final reveal as well. So this was new to me, guys. I just recently did a Dollar Tree haul, and I was so excited to find this station wagon. I love these styles of cars or trucks or whatever you want to call them, wagons, in real life. So I, I love them. I don't know why, but I do. And I was so excited to find this. And I just knew I wanted to put it in my spring DIYs this year. So I'm just going in. Um, the colors I'm using are pretty consistent. So I'm using my burnt umber, a teal color, pink, peachy colors, you know, a little black um, just on the tires here and some light distressing. But on this car, I do go very heavy with the distressing using the peach color. And so I was a little leery about the colors at first. <laughs> at first but I really felt like it captured what I wanted I know it's not like your true spring colors but the vision I had is just like you know those old station wagons where they have like the mismatched colored doors and stuff <laughs> like that that's where my mind went guys I'm telling you sometime I, I don't know this this little mind journey of mine takes me to some unusual places but I like it so I'm rolling with it so next what I did here is I used some of the Dollar Tree rub-on stickers but I think I had too much paint on here and it was really chilly the night that I filmed this and so everything was taking a long time to dry and I think I just did not wait enough you know long enough and I probably should have used my heating tool to speed the process up but I didn't do that so I was having a difficult time getting the wording onto there and you will see what I do to um, fix that um, towards the end of this craft so what we're gonna make here is a flower box you guys know I love my flower boxes <laughs> and so I was like why not um, do it here so all I'm doing is taking one of the Dollar Tree crates a little um, like miniature candlestick holder that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm using that as leverage to um, balance with the truck because I didn't want the box to be flat on the surface um, because you could see it underneath and I didn't want that I didn't like the way it looked so I was like okay I'll just add a little lift here none will be the wiser right unless you peek over into it and see that there's actually a box there <laughs> so again I'm just using my hot glue to adhere that and it stuck on really well and then I had a foam block that I had cut up and I'm just taking some of these baby breaths that I got from my no uh, Dollar Tree and I'm just putting those in there no rhyme or reason I'm not good at arranging flowers guys but you know it worked for me in the vision I had um, one thing I didn't notice once I finished is that it was a lot of gaps in there that you could see you could see them looking over it and it was bothering me so I just went in with some of the granary from that same pick those same picks and just added that in as a filler and it worked out really well so all I did was take some of those um, little vines and just put them through the window because that's the vision I had I wanted it poking out because I wanted to be like you know farm fresh flowers you know that type of deal so anyway <laughs> so it worked out so next I was like you know what I'm gonna add in one of these little miniature bunnies from Dollar Tree they're the ones with the ears sticking straight up and they have this like teeny tiny little button um like a uh, pom-pom uh a tail and I thought they are so cute so I just added a little face to them put in some pink in their ears and that's it I didn't want to color it or anything because I just felt like that natural color blended with the truck and if I had tried to do like a white or something with the white flowers or baby breasts in there I don't think it would have played off very well so I was happy with the end result and you guys again will see everything at the final reveal so to save this project, I didn't want to leave the doors blank. So I took some um, farmhouse stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby and just added in a wreath on one door. It says Farm Fresh and then the other one I just put a potted plant there. 
So next up, I'm using this Michaels, um, this Michaels, I don't know, I have them on my brain. I'm using this little um, farmhouse house from Dollar Tree. It's one of their new items in their farmhouse collection. This one, we have seen these before, but this one has a stand on the back of it. And I really like that because I like those style of um, items because I just feel like these are really cute items where you can just put really anywhere, in your bathroom, in the kitchen, on your patio, your front porch. It's always a mess that you can put there. And I think that's really cute. Even by your bedside, like, you know, morning affirmations. I think that would be so, so cute. But what I wanted to do here is stay true to the spring theme. And all I'm doing is taking some tissue, um, that I, not tissue, napkins that I ordered from Napkin World, these Field of Daisies, and they did have butterfly, not butterflies, uh, uh, ladybugs on them, my goodness, ladybugs on them, and I just did some decoupage there, nothing fancy about it, just laid down some Mod Podge, laid it out nice and slow, burning up the edges so I can sand them and keep them nice and smooth, and what I did here, this was a three-ply napkin, and so on the middle um, napkin or ply or whatever, it had a thin coloring of the daisies. You can't really see it on camera, but it really gave this like an ombre effect, and I thought that was gorgeous. So next, I'm going in with a laser cutout that Hello came from... Um, Hobby Lobby along with these individual letters. I know you can't see them very well up against that black but again in person you can see it says Hello Spring and I just wanted to keep this so simple and so cute because you really don't have to do a whole lot to it. It already screams farmhouse in my opinion so just adding the spring, um, Hello Spring to it just amped it up a smidge. <laughs> Literally a smidge. <laughs> So I'm going in with these 3D stickers from Dollar Tree, and I wanted to give that 3D effect, of course, and I absolutely adore this. Like, it's just so true farmhouse to me, and I love everything about it. So next, uh, because I the ladybugs were not, like, as dominant or, you know, present as I wanted them, so I went in and added some additional ones um, on there, just two or three. So next up, I'm going to be making my first gnome. <laughs> Was it an experience? In full disclosure, guys, the video is going to probably cut off. I think it did cut off because my battery had started to die. And so I did not have a t enough time to finish like my last two projects, but I kind of pieced them again, pieced them together for you. And the technique on the, the project following this one is, is absolutely the same. It's just a pair of rain boots opposed to a gnome. So what I'm doing here is I wanted to um, add some crafting paper, which you see that I'm doing there. And all I did was take one of the um, table uh, placemats, the plastic ones from Dollar Tree. It comes to in a pack. And I used that to, com to create my template for what parts I wanted to cut off and in the only thing I'm going to be covering is his hat and his bottom with two different styles of crafting paper and so that's what I did there once I cut that out I cut my 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 template out and I just applied them with some glue stick um I think I used the gorilla glue stick here yeah it was the it was the gorilla yeah the gorilla glue stick and so I thought this was a cute combination staying true to the whole daisies and sunflowers and things like that and so next I'm taking apart some of that nautical rope to create his beard. And this is where the challenge came in for me. Like I did okay for my first run, I think. But um, definitely something I have to, you know, just keep at to kind of perfect it. So I think I saved it okay. <laughs> But it was not, it was not the prettiest, but he still looked cute to me. And like I said, he's my first gnome like this. So I think I did okay for my first run. So I'm just going in and adding in more of that hot glue where needed because strings were coming up, of course, because I did not secure them properly, but I kept burning my fingers. So. And I, I forgot to get my little spatula thing out to hold it down. But nonetheless, it still works. So what I'm doing here is because it has such jagged edges, I'm just going around with some of the macrame rope to kind of create like a border for the beard. I mean, I don't know how else to, to, to make it 
how to make it make sense. I don't know. <laughs> but it helped. It, it helped a lot, I think, in my opinion. And you guys can let me know at the end. And so all of this is going to be is a welcome sign. And it says, welcome on it. Sorry about that if you guys can hear it. It says welcomish on it. And so I painted that in the burnt umber, some green paint, and then I'm going in with some of the sunflowers. And really that's pretty much it for this. I did kind of place it off to the side a little bit, like unevenly. But again, guys, I was really tired. <laughs> really, really tired. So I mean, it's not a deal breaker, you know, that's part of crafting, that's what makes it so unique in my opinion, like if it was super perfect, like, <laughs> we could just buy it, right, <laughs> I'm trying to make myself feel good about that, anyway, so I just, like on the other one, I just added the sunflowers here to um, create that three-dimensional effect, um, I used the peach color for his nose and I think he came out okay I do I really really do so next up are my rain boots I really wanted to do this this year this is the first time of me doing this this year so I was super excited about it and I'm going in with some yellow paint um this one didn't quite work out the same well the cutting I cut it off I like I, I didn't cut it correctly and so I had to go back and just kind of tweak it a little bit so I just went in and I just rough did a rough draw <laughs> of the second boot and it kind of worked out okay and this is where the camera kind of it stopped on me but what I'm showing you here is just my plan for this piece I was able to come back and show you a little bit of it but it was just really you know literally my phone was going down and then this was just a basket i got from michael's in one of the grab bags they had like six i think in there four or six or something they were like 10 bucks each and i only paid five dollars for the grab bag <laughs> so i have been using those and all i'm doing is adding in another one of those burlap bows as well as a butterfly in one of the little um and that's literally it for this project guys so i am just going in with that butterfly it already had the nautical rope there and here is the final reveal look at our wagon isn't it cute I love the flowers coming out of the window our hello spring house I love those napkins you guys really should go check out napkin world I really think um, they have a nice collection and very good products and so there is our mr. and mrs. bunny <laughs> How precious are they? And then we have our rain boots. I am so excited about those. So it's my first time doing rain boots as well. I think the colors came out pretty nice um, in the improvised with having to shade in things. <laughs> and there's another hibiscus. I did that in another DIY. And my little baby chick where I created that egg. Check out my previous video for that one. And our fresh um, farm fresh flower sign I think this is probably my favorite of today it's absolutely beautiful and truly it is something you could probably keep up all year long just switch out the flowers maybe and of course our little flower basket which I really don't call a craft or DIY it's just something um, to add to my front porch is all so you guys have to let me know which one is your favorite I am gonna also show you guys in a few minutes Oh, and I wanted to share too with those little chick, the chick, baby chick candles. I got those from Dollar Tree as well. I thought they were super cute. They uh, kind of reminded me for a baby shower, but so, so darling. They were so cute. And here is our gnome. Be gentle, guys. Sorry for that background noise if you guys can hear that. But I think I did okay for my first gnome of this size <laughs> with the true full on beard and everything. So please go by Jenny's channel. Let her know I said hello. Tell her I said thank you again for collaborating with me today. I appreciate her from the bottom of my heart. She is such a sweet, sweet person inside and out. And she's so talented and graceful in her crafts. You guys would not be disappointed if you just happen to stop here first. But 
you know tell it check out the description box her information will be there and if you guys have taken this ride with me thus far thank you thank you thank you so very much i appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me always or just coming by for the first time i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting just know those comments are only desired and not required and also give me a that you know hit that like button because